Hey everyone, this is Stefan over at Sound Collective Mixing. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic mix template within Logic Pro 10. And if you find yourself using the same patterns or methods inside of your sessions, whether it be producing, mixing, or mastering, creating a template can kind of tighten up your workflow and free up your time inside of a session. For me personally, I like to remove all the technical crap out of the way and free myself up to do the fun stuff to me, which is the creative aspect, which is, you know, mixing inside the project. And it kind of removes the tediousness and prevents the process from becoming mononymous um, inside of your sessions. So the first thing that I do is I close the inspector window, I click on the wave expansion button on the top right, and this uh, just allows the audio, it makes the audio easier to see and bigger when you import the audio into the session so I don't edit something that I don't want to edit. Uh, next is I'll change the transport window, uh, I'll click on the metronome and the note symbol and choose custom and this just gives a better overview of the project it also allows me to see how much CPU and hard drive that I'm using inside of the project next I'll open up my color template by pressing option C and I name my or I color my tracks the same way in every session um, reason being is you know I know bass is brown I know drums are orange I know vocals are some shade of purple and this allows me just to know what the track is by looking at it instead of fumbling around 70 tracks in the arrange window or the mix window trying to figure out what type of vocal is that, is that a lead or a background, What's the, you know, what the hell is that guitar doing, I just know what it is by looking at it, right? And so next I'll change the uh, left smart tool to the fade from the arrow, you can do that by pressing T and A, or clicking on the uh, smart tool and then choosing whatever tool that you want. So I import my audio, I name my tracks, I rearrange my tracks, I color them, and then I edit uh, the stems. And so whenever, you know, I keep the command tool at the marquee, so when I'm making cuts, I can use the fade tool to add fades at the beginning and end of those uh, cuts that I made on the audio stem. And you always want to use uh, fades at the beginning and the end of any cuts that you make to prevent a uh, sample popping inside of your session. So next I'll open up my mix window by pressing X. And here we're going to create auxes so that we can route our audio to buses. Um, in our session. If you're not familiar with buses, let's say if you have like four guitar tracks, um, you want to route that to a bus so you can use the same processing on all four of those guitars, you know, whether it's um, using the same EQ on all of them or if you want to glue all of those tracks together or what have you. So, you know, I always have a guitar bus, I have a vocal bus, a drum bus, and so forth, right? And so to create a aux send inside of Logic in the mix window, if you press Control N, it'll create the auxes. And we're only going to do four for the sake of the tutorial. But you can see that Logic routed the audio or the aux to input one and two. And that can be frustrating if you're in a project, if you're working on projects every day and every single session you have to um, create those auxes and then click on input and then go to bus one, bus two, bus three, bus four. You know, if you have it in a template, it's just automatically set up for you. And so once those auxes are routed, you know, from my methodology, I know where my tracks are going to be laid out in my session, right? So I know that my basses are going to be top, on top, I'll have my electric guitar, then I'll have my keys, my strings, my drums, and so forth. So I can know from that methodology what to name these buses from the get-go. So we're going to do uh, aux 1 is bass, guitar, drums, and then master. And if you want to bring these to Unity, uh, you just click and drag, select them all, and if you hold Option and click on the fader, it'll bring them to Unity Gain. And so I know that I'm going to use some type of subtractive EQ on all these buses, right? So if you click, if they have them all selected and you click on the inserts, I'm going to go to Audio and Fab Filter, because it's the shit. And now that plugin is on all of these buses, and if I save it as a template, it'll also bring up all those plugins on those uh, buses, right? And so if you want to save your template, um, if you go to File, and then Save as Template, it brings up the window. And it's important to note where Logic saves these uh, template folders. So if you click here, we can check the routing. And here's my iMac, my hard drive user, Stefan, music, audio music apps. And that's where the project template folder is located. It's not located inside of your Logic folder. So if you wanted to take your templates, say, to you know your friend's house, to another studio, or to um, you know where you're recording, you want to know where your templates, uh, your template folder is located. It's not located in the Logic folder. It's located in the Audio Music apps, which is inside your music folder on your hard drive. So hopefully that saves you some time and frustration. Um, it would have saved me from a certain situation. So once it's saved, uh, if you want to open up your template, you just go to File, New from Template, 
or command N. Uh, don't close. It'll be located inside, or yeah, inside my templates folder inside the the open window. And so templates can be used, you know, in any aspect producing producing, mixing, or mastering. So hopefully you can find some ways that applies to your projects. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys. Uh, if so, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on videos that you would like to see, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.